deep in the Appalachian Mountains, where travel is treacherous along the West Virginia Turnpike and down these country roads. Big or small, the guys at Glen's Towing can do it all. Get this last load done. They know there's no business like tow business. This week on Tow Business. In the first episode of Tow Business, we introduce you to the towing and recovery professionals at Glen's Towing. They've got the heavy duty equipment and know how to tackle everything the Mountain State can throw at them. Welcome to Tow Business. I started off with two trucks. When Tom came to start helping me doing it down at the Mossy, it was just basically got into the towing and stuff and found out the Glen's Towing was coming up for sale. So we actually purchased it 10, 11 years ago. We had 10 trucks starting out. We've got two rotators now, 60 ton rotators, which very few people in this area, if any, has one. At now, there's close to probably 35, 40 trucks. We've got uh, six heavy duty wreckers for big trucks where most companies don't have, which we, when we started, we had one. So we've taken it to a, a different level where, like I say, employees was just me and Chuck at the time, and now we're up to, like I say, 40 plus employees. That's what's kept us going. We've got some dedicated employees that help out. Usually when uh, what'll happen is say if a vehicle breaks down or a motorist or a truck, whatever, they'll call our number here at the shop. They'll call in, we have dispatchers here 24 seven. Uh, they'll take the information, their location, basically what they think wrong with their vehicle, where they might wanna go, how many people's involved. We'll dispatch the appropriate vehicle, whether it's a car or a large truck. Uh, we'll go to the scene, pick them up, secure the customer. We'll take the vehicle wherever they, they designate it to whether it could be our garage where we may do repair on it, or it may be to somebody else's garage or a dealership. In our garage, we offer full service, anywhere from an oil change, tire repair, uh, all the way up to engine overhauls. Uh, we do radiators. The West Virginia State Inspection stickers, we do them. We'll do just about anything that a vehicle may need repaired on. Uh, we've done up the body work. So, I mean, there ain't a whole lot of things in our garage that we don't do. You also, you'll do load shifts. I mean, you'll have to reorganize the load on a truck. We, we got forklifts and stuff to handle that. Uh, we offer breakdown services from AAA all the way up to all the major trucking different breakdown services. So uh, if you want professional and you want it done right and you want it done for a good price, Glenn's Towing is the place to be. Coming up next on Tow Business, a full-size pickup flies off the West Virginia Turnpike. Not a problem for Glenn's. Driving here in the mountain state is always potentially dangerous, and anything can happen. Glenn's Towing and Road Service can help you. Whether it's big or small, Glenn's Towing does it all. Broken down? Have an accident? Glenn's Towing has the heavy-duty towing equipment to get your car or truck or tractor trailer off the side of the road or off the side of the mountain. We've got the best and biggest fleet of towing and recovery equipment in southern West Virginia. Backed by over 15 years experience, we've got the know-how to tow or recover your vehicle without any further damage to your property to get you back on the road. With four locations across southern and central West Virginia, we cover Kanawha, Raleigh, Mercer, Fayette, Putnam, Boone, Nicholas, Greenbrier, and Wyoming counties, as well as I-64, 77, 79, and 45 miles of the West Virginia Turnpike. So now you know who to call because Glenn's Towing does it all. 304-252-6287. Just another day at the office, and let's put that 60-ton rotator to work on the West Virginia Turnpike. We've actually got to go down and recover a pickup that uh, went over into the median uh, a couple nights ago that wrecked the Turnpike. The reason we didn't get it is because Turnpike had to set us a lane closure up to where we could use the left-hand lane to get in and to get it out, which is we're heading that away now because I finally got the lane closure set up this morning. Well, I'm hoping just to set up with the rotator that we're taking and just be able to swing over to the side of the truck and kind of just put a couple of chains on it, dig it up, get the debris put back in the truck, and kind of just bring it up out of there 
real easy. Nobody got hurt that bad or nothing in there, Brad. That's a good thing. Vehicles can be replaced. All right, Chris, be careful, be careful. <laughs> it's all about safety, baby. It's all about safety. Cable still look good on the spot. Oh, it looks good. Looking good. All right, you ready? Roll them. Roll on, big dog. Just took that one up and I'll slide, I'll slide the chain down to you, baby. Our crew is patched into Glenn's wireless and hands-free intercom system. They wear this in situations where there will be heavy background noise or when the wreck is pretty far away from the wrecker. This particular situation is both. All right, I'm hooked. You're hooked. I'm gonna swing it just a little bit to where I get the cable a little tight. All right, that's red. They can both speak to and hear everyone in the crew. There's one. Hold on a minute, here comes your other one for us, huh? Send all the cables, change everything down, to run the controls. Terry runs the rotator while Tom and Chris rig this truck a hundred feet from I-77. Okay. Come up here, step in. Be careful, be careful. Walk right down the door. Looking good though. Give me a thumbs up. That's right. The boom has two independently operated winches controlled with a remote, and it's capable of lifting 60 tons. A little heavier. Yeah, you hooked the tree. <laughs> yeah, it's bringing that tree with it. Tom and Chris head to safety while the truck is spun into position to drag it straight up this hill. Oh yeah, Tom's almost got it. Almost. Catching that tree limb that's broke off right there. Take it. All right, let's go with. I pull the, cut, the blue one a little bit there, Chuck. See if it'll pull up the truck. That's going to do it. The underbrush in the woods can be pretty thick in these parts. One side is blue, the other red. And pulling then one side, then the other, they just wiggle a pickup truck right out of there. I'm just ready to. I might just have set it in behind the truck. Yeah, absolutely. Just set it on the ground. That'll work. The chains look good, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right now, they both are still hooked. Really makes it look easy, doesn't it? Put a spin and set it right there. Coming up next, just where would you like me to put this thing? The Mountain State's natural beauty is its best kept secret. Evergreen Environmental Management is on call 24-7 to keep West Virginia green and clean, ensuring you and your children have a safe place to work and play. Hazardous materials are all around us, in trucks, trains, and even airplanes. When these chemicals spill, Evergreen is there in minutes of an environmental emergency with proper absorbent materials scientifically designed to attract chemicals and petroleum-based products to stop the spread of dangerous pollutants. Evergreen has the heavy-duty equipment to do whatever is necessary to contain a spill and dispose of it properly. Liquid or gas contaminants can be pumped out and disposed of in accordance with the letter of the law. Contaminated rock and soil is tested and analyzed to make sure the proper disposal method is used and put into action to stop the seepage of pollutants into our environment. Evergreen Environmental Management, there for you to keep wild and wonderful West Virginia green and clean.